today we are going to discuss about the electronic spectra and transition metal complexes as in our daily life we are seeing the different types of transition metals of different colors for example blood why blood is of red color because it contains iron why chromates are of yellow color because it contains different transition states of uh, chromium uh, that's why we are going to discuss uh, electronic spectra in this session our lecture plan for today's lecture is color in transition metal complexes the types of spectra they obtain during transition and their electronic transition why their electronic transition is of different nature now the selection rule followed for the electronic transition then the coupling of orbital and spin angular momentum the term symbol obtained after the electronic transition the colorful chemistry of transition metals as you are saying here that chromate complexes are of yellow color whereas the iron complexes are of red color copper complexes are of blue color in nature why it is so what is the important thing that they are going to absorb the uv visible light of the electromagnetic spectrum is absorbed by the uh, transition metals and the color observed is of complementary to the absorbed light the absorption of light follows lambert's and beer's law according to the rule log i not upon i is equal to a is equal to epsilon lc where i not is the intensity that falls upon the material and i is the intensity that passed out from the material the log of i not upon i will give a that is absorbance and the epsilon is the absorption coefficient l is the length of the tube in which a compound is taken c is the concentration of that compound that we are measuring in the absorption spectrum the absorptivity a versus wavelength lambda is plotted in the graph these are the examples of various metal complexes and the uv visible spectra of transition metal complexes results from the transition of electron from one orbital to another analysis of these spectra can be quite complex because we are seeing here in these type of examples we are getting more than one peak these peaks may be of different regions the uv spectra arise from the electronic transition between t2g and eg molecular orbitals and are used to determine the crystal field stabilization energy in the octahedral field and in the tetrahedral field for the complex changes in the electronic environment can complicate the spectra it is because the environment of the t2g orbitals is different while for that of eg orbitals is entirely different the octahedral field and the tetrahedral field both are splitted according to their ligand field geometry here is an example of chromium hexa ammonia complex it has three types of bands one spin forbidden the second one spin allowed and the third one is charge transfer here it is the charge transfer band these two are spin allowed whereas the third one a smaller one is the spin in forbidden band observed in the chromium hexa ammonia complex why it is so that we are getting different types of bands within the same metal complex here the transition of the electrons from dxz orbital which lies in the xz plane to the dz orbital involves a relative minor change in the electronic environment as both uh, lies in the z direction here if you see that uh, let us assume this is the x axis this is the y axis and this one is the z axis the dxz orbital lie in the xz plane this is x and this is z axis and in between that there is a xz plane and these red orbitals are xz orbitals and the transition in first phase taking place from xz to dz orbital this is dz orbital so there is a smaller distance covered by uh, electron density from xz to dz square means both orbitals are lying in the z direction whereas 
in case of transition of electron from d x y orbitals which lies in the x y plane to the d z square orbital which is already electron rich due to the presence of x z and d y z orbitals in the z direction it involves a fairly major change in the electronic environment since the promotion of an electron from the t 2 g set of orbitals to the e g set can involve differing changes in the electronic environment since from d x y plane to d z square and d y z and x z plane to d z square the difference uh, changes in the electronic environment observed and three peaks of different intensities will be seen in the spectrum. The transition of electrons are governed by majorly two rules. One is Laporte selection rule and the second one is spin selection rule. In this selection rule, the Laporte selection rule states that transition where there is no change in parity or dipole moment are not allowed. These type of transitions are forbidden. For example, G to G and U to U. These two transitions are forbidden in nature because from G to G and U to U there is no change in dipole moment. So, these two transitions are forbidden. On the other hand, from G to U and U to G, these two transitions are allowed. G and U represent the gyrade and ungyrade nature of orbitals. All transitions within the D shells such as 3 A2G, 3 T2G are Laporte forbidden because they are taking from G to G. Here from 3 to 3 means there is no change in the dipole moment and the spin multiplicity remains same. Thus the intensity of DT transitions that give D metal ions their color are not very intense. From D to D transition, the G to G transition, there is less intense band observed. Charge transfer bands frequently involved P to D and D to P transition. So, these are Laporte allowed and they are very much intense than that of D D transitions. Now, the spin selection rule. This rule states the transition that involves a change in the multiplicity for the number of unpaired electrons are forbidden. This accounts for wide transitions within the D shells such as 3 A to G to 1 E G means there is a spin multiplicity change from 3 to 1 that involves a change of multiplicity are much weaker than those of 3 A to G to 3 T to G in which no spin multiplicity changes. From this we can conclude that if delta s is equal to 0 those transitions are allowed and in which delta s is not equal to 0 these types of transitions are forbidden in nature. Here is an example of nickel hexa aqua complex. In this complex there are four types of bands observed. The first one is charge transfer band. These types of bands are of very high intensity because these are Laporte and spin allowed. Whereas the, the second one means 3 A to G to 1 E G. These are Laporte and spin forbidden. So, these are very weak band. This is shown by this arrow. Here A, B and C. These bands are Laporte forbidden but spin allowed. So, these bands are of intermediate intensity in comparison to the charge transfer band and Laporte spin forbidden bands. The intensity of band in D blocks ions we can summarize in this way. Three types of bands present in nickel hexa aqua complex the Laporte allowed plus spin allowed charge transfer band which is of high intensity whereas the Laporte forbidden plus spin allowed means DD transitions are of moderate intensity and the third one the Laporte forbidden and also the spin forbidden band which comes under the DD transition are of low intensity. Transition of electrons from lower energy level to higher energy level that is due to the absorption of UV visible light. The electron electron uh, interactions are responsible for the spectral complications. For the 3D, 4D, and 5D series complexes having more than one electron in their 
outermost orbital or inner orbital of the metal electronic interactions must be considered it is very important the electrons are not independent of each other and the orbital angular momenta that is ml values and the spin angular momenta ms values interact with each other to give a resultant angular momenta of j now the 3d series the orbital angular momenta ml value and the spin angular momenta ms value the interaction is weak this type of interaction are called russell saunders ls or spin orbit coupling whereas 4d and 5d series the orbital angular momenta ml and the spin angular momenta ms values the interactions are very strong the 4d and 5d series transition metals undergo further coupling called jj coupling because their ml and ms values individually interact with each other to give individual j values and individual j values gets coupled with each other to give jj coupling the atomic quantum number and energy states the ml and ms describes the individual microstates themselves whereas the total angular momentum num quantum number l and the total spin angular momentum quantum number s it describes a collection of microstates and these are called atomic energy states for example for a two electron system the ml values can be calculated from individual ml value of each electron and the ms value can be calculated from the summation of individual ms values the resultant orbital angular momentum can be calculated from individual angular momentum of each electron that means l1 plus l2 and the total number of l values can be obtained in the fashion l1 plus l2 l1 plus l2 minus 1 l1 plus l2 minus 2 up to l1 minus l2 and the total number of l values can be obtained from this would be 2l plus 1 similarly for s s can be calculated from individual spin values s1 plus s2 and the total number of s values that means total orientations can be calculated from s1 plus s2 to s1 minus s2 and the number of orientations would be 2s plus 1 now spin angular momentum the magnitude of the spin angular momentum can be calculated from this expression here ms is equal to s under root s s plus 1 h upon 2 pi the ms is related to an overall spin quantum number and as i earlier told you that ms can be calculated from the summation of individual ms values of each electron the total number of ms values would be 2s plus 1 for orbital angular momentum similarly the ml can be calculated from this expression under root l l plus 1 h upon 2 pi the ml related to the overall orbital multiplicity and this can be calculated from individual ml values l can be calculated from l1 plus l2 l1 plus l2 minus 1 and the total number would be of 2 l plus 1 the vector of the momentum can have a number of orientation in the form of 2 l plus 1 values the coupling of orbital and spin angular momentum the interactions produced atomic states means l and s called microstates are described by the new set of quantum numbers and these were l and s the l value must arise from a complete set of microstates and it has a value of 2l plus 1 the spin orbit coupling the l and s coupled to give resultant quantum number j means l plus s becomes equal to j and this is called russell saunders or ls or spin orbit coupling the individual l and s values of electrons to give individual resultant quantum number j and in which l1 plus l2 will give j1 l2 plus s2 give j2 j1 plus j2 will give j and this j1 plus j2 gets coupled with either each other these are called jj coupling determining the energy states of an atom a microstate table that consists of all possible combinations of ml 
that is orbital and m s that is spin is constructed. Each micro state represent a possible electron configuration that one or two electron can attain within the orbitals. It includes both ground state and excited state and it must obey the Pauli's exclusion principle which is a necessity for the uh, lowering of energy. Now, in an octahedral or tetrahedral complex, microstates representing different relative spatial distribution means the distribution in space of the electrons will exist at different energy levels and these energy levels are called as terms. The microstate would have the same energy only in one case if the repulsion between electron electrons is negligible means there is only one electron present in a orbital. Now, term symbols these are used to represent the electronic configuration at a particular energy state and the resultant angular momentum L of an atom. The expression for the term symbol would be 2 s plus 1 L j where s is the total spin angular quanta number j is the total resultant angular quanta number this is the table for l and state values 2 s plus 1 which indicates the spin multiplicity and it plays an important role if the spin multiplicity is greater than 0 then the spin value would be different if spin multiplicity is 0 then the 2 s plus 1 value would be 1 and the different L values located for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 these can be arranged according to their state values means for L is equal to 0 s would be uh, state would be s for L is equal to 1 the state would be of p and for L is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 the respective state would be given d, f, g, h and i and so on. Now, we will summarize our today's lecture. Three types of bands are observed in transition metal complexes and these are spin and Laporte forbidden, spin and Laporte allowed and charge transfer band in which both spin and Laporte allowed transition bands are involved. ML and MS values which describes the individual microstates themselves whereas the total angular momentum quanta number L and the total spin angular momentum number S describes a collection of microstates and these are called energy states. Orbital L and spin S these angular momentums coupled to give a resultant angular momentum J L plus L will give a J value. The term symbols which we have discussed are used to represent electronic configuration and the resultant angular momentum of an atom. So, this was for the today's lecture. In the next lecture, we will discuss about the energy diagrams of different transition metal complexes which is in the form of Orgel diagram and Tenebra Sugarno diagram. Thank you.